So I've got an interesting antenna for us to take a look at today then. It's uh, something I picked up off eBay, it's by Cisco. And uh, I've been uh, looking and buying a few of these recently because I want to uh, extend my set of reference antennas that I uh, use with my network analyzer. Basically, once I've done the calibration and everything, I can hook one of these up and then I can see whether that calibration's worked and the analyzer is working as it should. Now, this is a, a Cisco. It's an ANT514V-R. It's um, two small panel antennas and uh, they each give about 4.5 dB of gain. So they're not overly powerful antennas. Now this antenna is sold as a uh, diversity antenna and without knowing what kind of equipment this is supposed to be hooked up to, um, I do think by looking at uh, the uh, spec sheet it's a uh, pattern diversity antenna and uh, what that is is it basically takes the two beam widths of uh, each of these antennas combines them into one to extend that beam width over a uh, much wider area although you know it could be hooked up to uh, a diversity uh, router or repeater which could uh, switch between the two antennas depending on uh, where it's getting a receiving signal uh, of more power if, you know it, in an office environment somebody's using it in one area of the office it can shut down uh, one antenna and concentrate on the other one but I do think this is a uh, pattern diversity antenna but um, there are lots of different types of diversity Wikipedia has a uh, good uh, article on that now, as I said, I want to use this as a reference antenna. Um, I picked this up uh, cheaply. Um, I think I paid about £10 for this. Um, you can have a look online, and this is a, an old design now, but it, some people ask for stupid money for this particular antenna. In fact, one American seller wanted uh, me to uh, ship me one for £400. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I think if you don't want to ship to the UK, or ship outside of America why don't you just say that instead of putting a ridiculous amount of money on the shipping but uh, you can see it really is a quality antenna and it's got quality coax with this so let's uh, crack it open and see what's going on on the uh, underside I think we're just gonna have two panel antennas with uh, just one element each but you never know until you open it up so very simple to open then, there's no screws, it's just got some clips on the side and uh, yeah I'm, I'm really surprised that we've got round elements in here but they are absolutely beautiful and we seem to have some kind of perspex dielectric there in between the uh, driven element and the back reflector on these little things, they really are nice but um, I think what we'll do first is I'll put the cover back on take it over to the uh, network analyzer and take a look at just one of these I'll just hook one of the panel antennas up and see uh, what kind of response we get over on the network analyzer that's before I start removing these I don't want to remove them and then test them of course and mess things up but uh, they are beautiful so I've got the uh, antenna set up on the bench and uh, we've got quite a nice output on the network analyzer. So here it is on the uh, network analyzer then. I'm uh, sweeping from 4 gigahertz over here all the way up to uh, 6 gigahertz. I've got the Kurtz cursor set on uh, bang on 5 gigahertz here. We've got this lovely frequency response just here. In fact, uh, we've got quite a wide dip from here to here but this little dip here is what uh, we're concerned with so it's going to work really really well at uh, 5 gigahertz now unfortunately if you're wondering if you could use this for uh, 5.8 which sometimes you can with these uh, panel antennas because they're quite uh, wide in their frequency of operation unfortunately it's not going to do too well at 5.8 gigahertz this is uh, over here somewhere but uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi it's uh, really spot on there. So let's get one of these little panel antennas out so we can take a closer look at it and take some measurements. So a pretty uh, simple design then. We've got the back reflector. It's made out of aluminium. The screws are tapped into the back here which holds the uh, connector in place. This flange connector with the pin going all the way through here. 
that solders directly onto the main driven element. I think this is uh, crimped onto the coax here. The uh, back reflector is 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. It's two millimeter thick aluminium, so you should get a good front to back ratio from uh, that. It's not flimsy stuff. But uh, this is what interests me, this uh, dielectric here, it's uh, Perspex. And uh, again, you have to be careful when you're using dielectrics because they can affect the center frequency of the antenna you're trying to build. Different dielectrics have uh, different outcomes. But uh, it's a really nice put together compact system here. The dielectric is 6.3 millimeters thick and I'm presuming that is a, a purposeful measurement not just that they've got 3.6 millimeter thick uh, perspex in the warehouse when well in the factory when they're constructing this um, you can say that's a, a purposeful measurement there 6.3 millimeters and then uh, the simple uh, single element sits on top of there and uh, the diameter for this circle is 38.7 millimeters exactly and uh, yeah it's uh, it's really really nice it's also double uh, sided uh, PCB so you've got uh, the etching on this side and the etching on uh, the opposite side as well it goes all the way through and the pin solders onto there so really really simple design and a really nice design I can construct all this together again I can remove this use uh, an SMA uh, flange connector in place of this and then I've got myself a nice little reference antenna but I will put all these measurements in a PDF uh, for the artwork in case you want to etch one of these out for yourself and I've just had a look online and uh, the dielectric properties of Perspex are very very similar to uh, something like fiberglass or something like cork so if you wanted to replace this with a piece of cork then you could do that without uh, you know too much detriment on the uh, center frequency of this element so I've modified the uh, two antennas as you can see here I've got uh, an SMA connector on the back pretty straightforward to do really I've uh, got one that's uh, SMA and one that's uh, RPSMA on the back so two very nice reference antennas just held together with some nylon uh, nuts and bolts there and I've also got some good quality uh, low loss coax as well with some TNC connectors already crimped onto one end so I could uh, very well crimp on some SMA connectors onto the opposite end and have some uh, TNC to SMA and maybe even the other one crimp on an end type connector as well and uh, these cables then will come in handy over on the uh, test bench probably in the future so for uh, £10 and free shipping two very nice uh, reference antennas and some very nice low loss coax so I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick five minute tear down hopefully it was five minutes any uh, comments or questions drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them if you want to uh, help support this channel pop on over to patreon and uh, hopefully You'll join me on the next one.